Hey, blessings to you, family. Welcome back to Rising Ground Church. My name is LaShondra. If you happen to be new here, then welcome to the family. We're happy to have you as part of the Rising Ground family. And if you have been here with us for a minute, then we're glad that you've stayed around. And praise God, because we know that you feel led to be here. And so we just always welcome all of you here to the ministry and we pray that you're learning and growing in the lord now this is episode if you will episode three of this kind of mini series that we've been doing about it may not go viral and what the lord has been talking about that so if you missed one and two then um, i'll put those in the description so you can kind of catch up and see what the lord has been saying so this started a couple days ago and the lord just started talking to me about this and he continued to talk to me about it over the next two days and he was talking about how so many people um it's not that people want everything to go viral but what he was actually saying in that is that you may not get the notoriety or the attention or um, the type of notice that you thought that you would by something that you've done for him and thus it can keep you back because you feel like something maybe is not working right so we're going to kind of talk about that a little bit more about if you will what may not be working right according to the lord in these certain ways and what it is that he wants to address and what he wants you to pay attention to so i think i'll title this something about like is it god or the culture so meaning is this something that you're the task that, you, that you're embarking on the career that you're that you're choosing the path that you're going down all of these choices that we have to make in life are you choosing them because you feel led by god or are you choosing them because because the culture of society tells you this is what you need to do this is what you should do now you hear us myself and my husband pastor Jamal we talk about this all the time we talk about being in tune with God and following his plan his flow for your life and that is where you're going to be successful so with that I want to talk about God's definition of success okay According to God, success looks like walking in the will of God and surrendering to his purpose for your life. Now, we already know the world is going to tell us what success looks like versus what God tells us success looks like. And so we always want to just stay tightly connected with God's definition of success because we know that from that place we can maneuver not only a little bit more easily but we have more leverage even from that place and we have clarity on what it is that the Lord wants us to do. Now you may not know off the bat automatically, immediately what it is that the Lord is directing you to do in your life. But when you have an understanding of his definition of success, it makes it a little bit easier and you start to gain clarity. So sometimes we look at um, clarity as like it should be an automatic thing. That's not always necessarily the case. Sometimes it takes you seeing what is not true to realize what is true, if that makes sense. And so thus now you have your footing in the place of clarity. Okay, now let's kind of go back to is a God or the culture. So we want to talk about, I have like three or four things in that. Why things don't always work out for you. Some of you have said that before. You've asked like, you know, if I'm doing all of the right things, why aren't things happening? You always have to check and see what we just said. Is this something that God is calling you to do or are you calling yourself to do it? Now, that doesn't mean that it won't even work out because sometimes people do things in their own strength, their own will, and they look like they've gained some form of success in it. So then we go back to God's definition of success. Yeah, it may look that way to us from the outside looking in that they've gained some form of success, but if it's not lining up with God's will and purpose for their life, then it isn't true success. So you always want to check that to see, is this something that God is directing me to do? Now, the other piece in that is, what are your motives? What are your motives in this choice that you're making? Whether it's even with ministry. Now, this, is, this always just has kind of baffled me. How people choose to be pastors, choose to be prophets, instead of being, a, being called to do these things. 
that's something that you should be called to do. Everybody can prophesy. That's different than being a prophet. Um, everybody has the ability to help teach someone in a particular way or a certain season. That's different than being a shepherd, than being a pastor. And just because you can teach good or because you can preach good or because you uh, sound good preaching, that doesn't always mean that you were called to be a pastor. And so you have to see what are your motives, even in the spiritual things. Is it to be seen? Is it to be heard? Is it to be recognized? Is it to get money? Is it to get uh, to gain status or, or to collect some kind of awards with it? Check your motives and see uh, what they are. Are they lining up with God? Because that could be one of the main reasons why things aren't working out for you. Now, I mentioned the spiritual part of that, spiritual giftings and things, because um, again, I'm always just surprised that people think that that's something that they just decide one day, oh, I want to be a prophet. No, this is something that you're called to do. Now, again, okay, this goes back to other traditional types of jobs or traditional types of movements even, then maybe someone tells you, you know what, you should write a book because I think this is what you should do. I think this is what you'll be really good at. But if it's not something that God has on your path for you to do, then you may be doing it in vain. Not to say that you won't have some form or level of success from it, but does it line up, okay? Does it line up with God's idea of success for your life? The other thing is that you want to pay attention to and see maybe this is why things aren't working out for you is are you paying attention to other voices more than the voice of God? Is God leading you? Is the Holy Spirit the one that's, that's uh, giving you this unction, this impression in your spirit to move forward with this, to start this business, to write this book, to... Um, you know, maybe take on this new job or to do this side job even. Are you being led by God? Or are you listening to the voices of society and the culture? Many people will tell you, you know, you need to hustle or you need to do this. I've given this example so many times before. Many people tell you, well, this is the city you need to live in. Um, this is where it's happening. This is where, um, you know, you'll be blessed in this place. You'll be blessed where God places you at. Okay, that's first and foremost. You'll be blessed where God places you at. So pay attention to the voices that you're listening to. Are you listening to God or are you listening to society, to friends, to family, to loved ones who even mean well? But if it's not what God is directing you to do, then it can get you off course. And we talked about that last time about getting off course, this twisted generation, getting off path. Now let's kind of go into a little bit more about listening to these other voices. Peter is a great example of what Jesus said to him during this time. We're going to read Matthew 16, 22, 23. I'm sure you're familiar with this verse, but let's read it. It says, but Peter took him aside and began to reprimand him for saying such things. You can read up a little bit, um, or start a little bit before that. Peter says, heaven forbid, Lord, this will never happen to you. Jesus turned to Peter and said, get away from me, Satan. Get away from me, Satan. You are a dangerous trap to me. You are seeing things mainly from a human point of view. So how many people in your life are seeing things from mainly a human point of view? And from that perspective is where they're offering you advice. From that perspective is where they're um, encouraging you to do X, Y, and Z. Pay attention to what point of view they have and see, does it line up with you? Does it line up with the point of view God has given you? Does it line up with the word? Does it line up? And if it doesn't, then you need to steer far away from that. So again, when you talk about success according to God, then it's you are walking in the will of God and surrendering to his purpose for your life. Now, thankfully, that 
most of the time includes something that you like to do. A lot of times we get afraid and we think, oh, we're going to just live some humdrum life and we're just, oh, all I do is pray, all I do is meditate and read, and all I do is I'm, I'm in praise and worship all the time. That's not the case. Now, sometimes God gets you to the point of where maybe you thought you wouldn't like to do something, but then when you've surrendered to God, you're like, oh, wow, I actually like this. I enjoy this. Now, let me know if that's happened to you in the comments where the Lord will lead you to something. And at first you're thinking, Lord, you gonna have me looking real crazy. I don't like this. I don't know. This is not my thing. But because you surrender to it, then you follow through with it. And then now you're like, oh, I actually enjoy this. So the Lord isn't just going to have you doing something just to have you doing something. Yes, there may be times and seasons where you do have to do something that you don't particularly enjoy, but it's for a reason. It's for a reason and for a season. It's for a reason and for a season. And so pay attention to that. Just stay in a place of surrender because oftentimes if you continue to um, try to reject it, then you're prolonging it. And then the purpose that needed to be done for you to even embark upon this thing or to do it, then it's not even gonna happen because you're 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 just prolonging it and you're you're taking too long to really surrender to God. So pay attention to that. So these are a few areas that you can see. Was it God or was it the culture? Was it society? Was it whomever else other than the voice of God leading you to do a thing. Now, this is the last piece in that. Some things still take time. It doesn't, it, just because it's not working out the way that you think, it can be a, a, a thing about timing. We talked about that. It can be a thing about timing. God definitely has the best and perfect timing, even when it doesn't line up with our own timing. So pay attention to that and just be in a place of surrender. So those are a few things. I pray that this is helpful to you. I pray that you are able to really see what the Lord is saying and then take that minute to say, Lord, what are you showing me in this for my life? What are you showing to me in this? How are you speaking to me? How does this apply for my life? What area in my life even is this for? Because you may think that you already know like, oh, that's not for me or no, I'm good on that. But the Lord may be showing you something very specific. And so whenever we hear a word from the Lord, whether it's a prophetic word, a teaching, a message, whatever the case may be, you say, Lord, how are you speaking uh, to me on this? Okay. So, all right. Love you guys. Um, if you would like prayer, then you can always do that in the email or the comment section. If you feel led to sow into Rising Ground Church, all of that is in the description box, as well as the other videos that I mentioned. And um, that's it. Love you guys. Have a blessed day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.